Hi guys, welcome to another weekly vlog. A massive thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this vlog. I'm gonna be telling you a little bit more about them at the end, but if you would like to see what I got up to this week, carry on watching. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome to another weekly vlog. Today I've got a delivery from Urban Outfitters. I ordered this stuff two nights ago I think and I've already forgotten what I ordered. It was like a late night panic order. <laughs> you know when it's late at night and then you start browsing shops and then you're like, ooh, I'm gonna use all the money I don't have on all this stuff. That was what happened. So I thought I would just unbox it with you at the start of this vlog. So the first box I've got is just like a little tiny one and this has just got one thing in it. Before I show you this, I used to have matching mugs and then recently I've decided when I move, which is hopefully soon, I have bought somewhere. It's like in its very final processes. So keep your fingers and toes crossed. But I am gonna be redoing the bathroom, the floor, painting every single room, redoing the kitchen in time. And when I do the kitchen, I want some open shelves on the walls and I would like to put my mugs on it. So I've been collecting along the way a few mugs that I really like and I picked up this one. I'm very fussy about mugs, by the way. They have to have a good handle. <laughs> but this is the first one. It's just got slots on. Look how cute that is. What else did I buy? God, so much packaging. This is like the best mug I've ever seen in my whole life. Oh my God, I love it. Look how cute. So it's a cat and its tail is the handle and its bottom of the cup is the feet of the cat and then the back is like the back of the cat. This is so cute. I'm nearly in. <gasps> I remember what this is. I'm so excited for this. Wanted one of these for so long. And then I was watching my bae, Stephanie Sue, her vlog channel. And I saw that she had one like on her bed or a sofa or something. And I was like, I need to buy this right now. So I've wanted one for so long, but they're so expensive. Ah! This is so cute. It's a pillow that goes behind you like that on the sofa and it like keeps you upright so it's perfect for editing. Oh my gosh, I literally love this. That's so comfy, like I can already tell and it's got a little pocket on the side for your biscuits. <gasps> oh, I love this. So that is everything that I got from Urban Outfitters. I'm still obsessed with this mug. I did get one more thing but it's actually a present so I'm not gonna show you that but yeah, I'm gonna go and have a shower, I need to wash my hair. I should probably do my exercise though before I wash my hair. I've been doing my seven minute workouts again by Lucy Wyndham Reed. I will pop the exact ones that I use below. I do the arm one, the stomach one, and the leg one all three in a row, so it's about half an hour every day. And honestly, they make you ache, they make you sweat. Even though it's just seven minutes, they really work you hard and I love them. One more thing, I've opened up my food Instagram. It is just www underscore Gabriella. So if you are interested in Weight Watchers or you're interested in people's food, just what people eat, feel free to follow it. I've had so many messages saying that it helps you in your journey if you're able to see like what other people eat, which I understand because the whole reason I made that account is so I the postman just came but as I was saying the whole reason why I made that account is so I could follow other people's food accounts so I do completely understand that and I know that the way I post things is quite visually pleasing and that is also something I look for when I follow food accounts I don't like seeing people's like messy plates I like everything to be nice and like aesthetic I don't really know how to explain that but I do understand why people wanted to follow mine so I have opened it up just be nice everybody's on a different journey everybody eats differently and that is fine. I'm gonna go tidy this mess up now and get on with my day. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've just tidied all of the boxes away. They're now over here. I've got so many boxes to take out, which is blooming annoying, but we do have a really good recycling system, so that's all right. I've just tied my hair up and put a sports bra on, and I'm now going to do my exercise. Just watch it, you get a 10 second preview, then we will go straight into doing this for 60 seconds. Good morning, everybody. It's a Friday. It is 1.22, I'm just preparing lunch. Then I'm gonna head out on a walk, so I didn't actually leave my flat at all yesterday, but I think I still did close to 10,000 steps. I was running around like a mad woman. I was cooking. I don't think I even showed you, but I tidied, I cooked, chicken stew ready for tonight. So if you remember, my plates and bowls were on here, but I wanted to change it so that my mugs were on here because they were just shoved in a cupboard and I think they're so pretty, but this isn't sorted yet at all. Like ignore this for now. But I tidied all 
of my cupboards. Look at this. That's Nelly's cat food there. Then I've got the Cambridge weight plan in case I ever have a life crisis and want to do that again. Then this cupboard has just got my pasta, rice, everything like that in it. Spare pots. These pots were from Ikea. And those pots used to fill this entire double cupboard. Like there was pots stacked up on every one. But I've decided to put my plates in there now and that honestly looks so much better. I now have my tea. I've got green tea in there. Biscuit brew normal tea bags sugar and coffee behind these are empty and i now have that next to my kettle which is good because that used to be in the far cupboard sweet snacks in here for weight watchers then in here i've got savory snacks i have so many and cereals and stuff i really wish i could sort this out but i've got nowhere else to put these but yeah my cupboards are so nice and tidy now i'm obsessed with them here we go, this is my breakfast for today. I've just got Cheerios, yogurt, and fruit. Yum. Yes, it is half one, I woke up super late. <laughs> Anyone else get excited to try a new mug? Or is that just me? I'm trying a new mug today. I'm actually excited. <laughs> It's this one from the Urban Outfitters little haul that I did. I was actually going to leave my flat today because I didn't yesterday. And I usually go out every single day now, which if you knew me a year ago or even a few months ago, that is unheard of. <laughs> However, I've got the worst period pain. So I'm just taking it easy. I'm just having a cup of tea. I've been doing lots of editing. It's actually coming up to five o'clock. It's 4.56. So I've just been sat on my computer doing work. We'll report back on how nice it is to drink out of. Wow, what a boring segment of the vlog. This is a good mug. <laughs> I'm sure you're all so happy I did this segment. I've just realised that the OA part two is out on Netflix today, so that is what I'm going to do with the rest of my day. I'm going to watch that. It's one of my favourite shows ever. Yay for lazy days. Turn this into a habit. morning it literally looks like i never leave my flat what a shock <laughs> but i actually do i've been out this morning i've smashed out 5,000 steps let's have a look mm, 4,733 and it is 10 46 so it's not even 11 a.m yet so i'm quite happy with that i've just actually been to weigh in if you don't follow my food instagram you won't know but i'm not speaking about how much i've lost or gained or maintained or anything for a whole month i'm doing 30 perfect days on ww and then i'm gonna share how much i have lost fingers crossed so yeah that's been my morning i'm now gonna sit and watch an episode of the oa i think i'm gonna head back out later but honestly today is just a lazy day i was doing a lot of work yesterday which you didn't see like whenever i don't vlog for a long period of time or i just look like i'm sat on the sofa I am 90% of the time busy doing work. So yesterday was a very, very worky day on my laptop. So I'm just going to give myself a little bit of a chill today. I'm going to have to send you in the post. Here you are. I don't sound anything like me. I'm not used that for like, well... I've never used That's that. another one. Yeah, that bigger one was mine, I think. Good morning. Welcome to Sunday, I think it is. I'm off to the gym. So I'm going to head there now. I really wanted to go at like 6am, but my alarm went off. And I, I literally said out loud, nope. <laughs> and then went back to sleep. I can't get into the gym because it's access card only. But I've literally only just signed up. So I was going to go collect my access card and then go. Smoking room. Hello everybody. Once again, I'm in my pyjamas and dressing gown. This is not a flattering angle at all, but I have left the house today. I actually went to the gym this morning. Today's a Sunday, by the way. So I went to the gym, which is a new gym that I've registered at, and I needed to go collect an access card to the building. So I was like, right, I'll go this morning. I was super in the mood, so in the mood. 8 a.m. on a Sunday, off I go to the gym. I got there and it said on the door that Sundays are access card only. So there was nobody at reception 
option to give me my card. So I couldn't get in the building and then I walked to a park nearby thinking that I would go on a bike ride. And I got there, got to the park, to the bikes and I realised that I haven't put my watch on so I couldn't actually track my activity. And I don't know about you but if I can't track my activity there's no point in me doing it because I, I'll forget I've done it, I'll make myself feel guilty. And it's just like nice to know how many calories you've burned and stuff when you are on a diet because some days I do apply that to my food and I'll let myself have like a few more points if I've done a big workout and stuff. I walked back home and I did a YouTube workout instead. I did two of Lucy's workouts, not the seven day ones, just like random ones. And then I went on another walk to Tesco and I got some food and now I'm back home once again in my pajamas. Will you ever see me out of these pajamas in this vlog? Only time will tell. <laughs> I'm just about to make my bed. It's just been in the washing. I'm fingers crossed seeing my two friends tomorrow, Lucy and Gemma. Lucy has actually been in Vienna and she gets home at I think midnight tonight. So she's gonna let me know tomorrow if she's too tired or not. But fingers crossed, I will be going to London to see them. I really hope so because I've had quite a lonely week, not gonna lie. <laughs> As you can see in this vlog, I haven't seen any anyone this week. And Sometimes I don't film when I see people. I said this on Twitter the other day. There was a tweet going round and I replied to it. In fact, I'll just put the tweet here because I can't remember what it said, but there are some friendships that I don't film. I don't film relationships. I only ever film if I'm with someone else who does YouTube because then I think they kind of understand it. But then even some days, they don't want to be on camera and neither do I. But I'm pretty sure I will be vlogging tomorrow if I do see Lucy and Gemma. Anyways, here's my bed before. Here we go, nice freshly made bed. Is there honestly anything nicer than getting into a freshly made bed at night? Look how delightful that looks. <laughs> I've actually got a few PO box bits to show you. I thought I would show you them now before there gets too many and I have to do a whole entire video on it. So firstly, I've got this beautiful collection by NARS. All of the packaging on this is gorgeous. Look at that, so stunning. So this is a blusher palette and look how beautiful it is. I love that the actual blushes are like rippled, like the packaging. So stunning. I've also got a Climax mascara which is really really good. I love this. It's very good for lengthening and along with that I've got this. I'm not sure if you use it as a blush or a bronzer. If anyone knows can you let me know in the comments but look how gorgeous it is again. Not smash it out of the park when it comes to packaging and stuff. Just beautiful. Then I've got this little travel size set of lip products as well and also three of their lip balms so thank you so much NARS. NARS is one of my favorite makeup brands. I love the packaging. I love everything about it. I think their makeup is just brilliant all around so thank you so much. Then from Barry M we've got their Sandstorm palette. It says baked matte and metallic eyeshadow palette that actually looks beautiful as well and to go with that I've got a lid lock primer. I've never tried a drugstore eyeshadow primer so I'm excited to try this one. Thank you to Barry M for this and from the body shop they've sent these over for mother's day for me and mum to enjoy so i'm sure my mum's gonna absolutely love these this is their new cactus blossom collection and when i first read the name i was like cactus how the heck is that gonna smell nice it smells delicious it's really really fresh honestly i would urge you to go into a store and smell this scent because i think it would be very universally light so first up we have got the body butter absolute classic from the body shop. We've got shower gel here, a body yogurt, which I love nowadays because they're a lot lighter, and then an exfoliating gel body scrub. And then they've also sent across their white musk flora. As I've said before, I don't open perfumes as they come in. I kind of save them up and just use one at a time because I don't like wasting them. But I will definitely smell that, but it won't be until I've finished <laughs> my perfume now. But thank you, honestly, to Nars, Barry M and The Body Shop for all of these bits. They look gorgeous. Totally forgot to show you that I also got sent Zoe's Brunch Date Colourpop range. This is so cute. I'm contemplating doing a video with the eyeshadow palette or something. Maybe just showing you on Instagram? Let me know in the comments. I'm obsessed with this little bag. It's the cutest thing ever. I don't mind staying up all night Cause I came to get it right And I won't leave without a fire Out in the dark Nobody came for my rescue And I won't come to rescue you Out in the cold just 
wrap Gemma's birthday present. I'm pretty sure I got this wrapping paper from Primark, but I'm not too sure. <laughs> Good morning, happy Monday everyone. I've just been to the gym, as you can see by my frigging beetroot face. Oh, I've just done 40 minutes on the cross trainer and 10 minutes on the bike to warm up. I did two and a half miles on the bike and then six on the cross trainer. I can't remember. I did a lot and I've burned 800 calories and that's more calories than I burn when I go to personal training. So that is how hard I've just worked. It's actually 11.15 now because I had the gas man come at 8 a.m. I'm just gonna hop in the shower. I'm honestly worn out, but I'm gonna wash my gross hair. I was supposed to be going to London to see Lucy and Gemma today, but Lucy has had to cancel. We're gonna have to do that another day, which is sad because I was genuinely really looking forward to it, but oh well. I'm dead. I had been a wallflower for so long, standing on the sidelines. Watching life go by But now I hear something That sounds like a love song From the birds in the sky Seems I'm I'm back. I've actually got a little bit of a dilemma at the minute. I'm about to message my estate agent just to see if my landlord has had this issue before but this bedroom the second one keeps getting infested with ladybirds and i don't know what to do like i could show you some of them now i've actually just got rid of like 20. i hope my camera picks it up there's one there's one there's one there's one on the corner of that window there's one two on that window. There's one on the top of that window. You can't see because obviously it's backlit, but there are so many frigging ladybirds. And as I said, I've just got rid of literally probably 20 and they just keep coming back every day and I don't know what to do. I don't know where they're coming from because I don't have any windows open, which means there's a gap somewhere that they're climbing through and it's freaking me out. <laughs> Good morning. I have put makeup on today and it's made me realize how much of a catfish I actually am. So that's fantastic. But I'm about to film a video and then I'm gonna head to the gym. It looks hot outside today and I'm stressed. I don't have any clothes to wear or anything for the heat. I just want to stay in my coats. But I'm actually filming a March favorites and I haven't done a favorites in so long. I kind of stopped doing them. Look at my eyebrows. I recently had them waxed. But I literally just used a Glossier boy brow and that's it. And they look so bushy. I love it. My eyebrows end up looking thicker after I've had them waxed. Also, look at this that I drew the other day. My friend asked me to draw something. So I drew Nelson. <laughs> oh, look how cute. Nelly. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, kisses. Now that I've finished filming, I thought I would talk to you about today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is a website that allows you to create a website. So if you're looking to create an online store or just a website in general, a blog, anything like that, you can do it so easily through Squarespace. They've got so many award-winning templates to choose from. I'm trying to choose one for my website at the minute that I'm gonna be creating, and I'm finding it so difficult because I don't know which one to pick. If you need any help as you're going along, which I know I'm gonna need help, they offer 24 7 customer service as well which is perfect so you can get all your needs sorted out quickly once you've chosen your template for your website or your online store you're good to go there's no need to upgrade or install anything squarespace is currently used by so many different types of creatives musicians designers artists as i said online stores restaurants there are so many different types of people using squarespace so i'm sure you can find a website that is going to be absolutely perfect for what 
you need. If you are interested in making your own website through Squarespace, go to www.squarespace.com forward slash Gabriella for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. I'm going to leave a link to that below as well, just to make it super easy if you are interested. But a huge thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's vlog. I'm actually going to leave it here because I'm just going to head to the gym. I've filmed my video and I'm really happy with it. So yeah, all I'm going to do is go to the gym and then edit that. <laughs> so I'm going to leave today here. Give this vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos from me and I will see you in my next one. Bye!